hello guys uh, welcome back once again to this youtube channel you know um let's talk about all the agreements and all the uh, uh, uh memorandum that uh the labor party led by uh, julius Aburi signed yesterday after they had their uh, controversial convention in anambra state yesterday because a lot of people have been wondering what is it that, that the labor party agreed on especially who is going to be their 2027 presidential candidate and a lot of things they actually came together to agree remember p2b and uh, uh and a lot of other people did not attend that particular convention i told you guys if you not watched my video go and watch the previous video i did that that convention was made with a lot of irregularities and rascalities because the obedient movement and some principal officers of the Labour Party we are actually you know uh, disconnected and they did not attend that convention but that is by the way before we delve into the matter of uh, who they gave the presidential the ticket in 2007 and other things that the uh, uh, Julius Abre agreed yesterday after he, he, he held that particular convention that that caused a lot of controversy uh, uh, among uh, the obedience and the Labour Party. Well, uh, before we dive into that particular matter, you know, the APC political party led by Parliament in Ibu wants to use propaganda to destroy this country. They want to use propaganda to rule the nation. They want to use propaganda to, you know, uh, govern till uh, 2027. And this is quite pathetic. Yesterday, uh, APC uh, bigots and APC influencers started uh, spreading the news that dollar is now uh, selling at uh, one dollar to one thousand naira. That a BDC in Abuja, you know, one uh, Ab Ab Salam is actually selling at the rate of uh, one thousand to uh, one dollar. And you know, they started spreading the good news. Some of them used the opportunity to praise Bola Metinibu. You could imagine some of them how senseless and how naive some of them are. That the, that the central bank of Nigeria came out and told you that they are selling at the rate of 1,200 to be rid the eight changer, uh, to, to, to be rid the eight changer, to be this is, uh, in Nigeria. That this is what, this is the official rate that the uh, CBN is selling to them. And you're expecting those people to sell it below. What is the business uh, knowledge or what is the logic uh, or behind such assumptions? Or probably such business uh, ethic that people that bought a product at the rate of one thousand two will now come and sell it below the cost price. How does it work? You know, they started explaining the good news. People started shouting, "Jagaban is working," and this is a government of propaganda, and it is a lie. Dollar is selling at the rate of one thousand three hundred or uh, and above, almost one thousand four hundred. But because of propaganda, that they be all, all the policies that APC have been doing from the inception since last year till now. In fact, not even since inception, since Bola, uh, Bola made a and but, uh, since Buhari became the president in now, it's all about propaganda. Nigerian uh, propaganda, uh, student loan propaganda, uh, subsidies, got refineries. Uh, last year they said uh, that the Wari refinery is now working. All everything is propaganda upon propaganda. And you can see the news that it is all lie. After a lot of news media outlets went to confirm the exact price of dollar, you could see that uh, this is premium time. They said uh, they, uh, they claim that the BDCs are selling a dollar for 1,000. The fact it is false. As of 27 March, a dollar was sold at about 1,350 by the Buri the change sellers at Wuse Zone 4 in Abuja. But APC miscreant and influencers, and this is what, how they want to govern our economy with propaganda and all that, which is quite sad and pathetic. Well, let's dive, dive into the, uh, the matter. You know, like I, I told you guys yesterday, that the Labour Party had uh, their convention, which is actually uh, co uh, uh, controverted, and you know, a lot of people were not in support of that particular convention. But there are a, a lot of things that Julius Abude did that yesterday, you know, because he knew, as a matter of fact, that people are not happy with him. So he decided to, will I use the word, use some uh, 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 agreement that are in form of bribe. P2B did not attend. Alex Oti, the governor of Abia State, the only LP governorship candidate did not attend that particular convention. And all the principal officers of the Labour Party in the House of Assembly and the State House of Assembly did not attend. Because Julius Abule wanted to re-elect himself. And yesterday he succeeded in re-electing himself without the approval of a lot of people. So after he knew that a lot of people were against what he did, he, he has, you know, decided to start making new plans to you know bribe people or bri probably bribe people be, since P2B was not in support and Alex Oti was not in support. So look at what they said. They said that Labour Party reserves 2027 presidential ticket for P2B and Abia state governor ticket for Oti. That they automatically agree that, that, that the 27 presidential candidate uh, and ticket will be actually reserved for P2B, and why they add their state governorship uh, ticket will be reserved for Governor Alex Oti. You know, because Abudas have seen that what he did is an illegal something. So he's finding he's finding he's finding looking for a way to bribe this. Uh, in fact, the two most important people in the Labour Party being P2B and Dr. Alex Oti. Now, this article went further to say that it said it, this was disclosed in a communique issued at the end of the National Convention of the Party held on Wednesday, March 27, 2024, at the Grand Seasons of Ten Mayweather in Anambra State. They said that the Labour Party has reserved its ticket for the 27th presidential election for Mr. Peter Obi. And this article went further to say that, that Obi, a former Anambra State governor, was a party's presidential candidate uh, in 2023. He came third in the election, losing to Bala Tinibu of the All Progressive Congress. Article back of the People's Democratic Party came second in the pool. This was disclosed in a communique issued at the end of the National Convention of the Party held on Wednesday, 20, 
March 27, 2024, and they can't see this hotel in Emeru. Now, this article for that to say that um that the community read uh, or reads this is the uh, words that was contained in the community which J J Julius Abrier wanted to use to bribe it to be analyzed. So he said the convention in session, the convention in session based on the uh, antecedents of the presidential candidate before, during, and after the 2023 general election, recommend that the 2027 presidential ticket of the party be solely reserved for His Excellency, Mr. Abitobi, the national leader of the party. The national leader of the party. They said similarly, the party also reserved its ticket for Governor Alex Oti of Abia State in the 2027 governorship election in the state. They said furthermore, the convention in session reviewed ongoing development and performance of its governor in Abia State, His Excellency Dr. Alex Oti, and passed a vote of confidence on him. I recommend the 2027 Abia State gubernatorial ticket of the party be reserved for His Excellency Dr. Alex Oti. It also reads, uh, this is where they reserve the ticket of uh, the Abia State governorship decision for uh, Dr. Alex Oti. Now, the community also reads, instead that uh, Sahara reporters earlier reported that the Tanjulo Sabri was re-elected re as the national chairman of the party for a second time by by an unanonymous affirmation of delegates amid a series of corruption allegations against him. This was announced by the chairman of the National Convention and Deputy Governor of Abia State, being uh, Mr. Ike Chuku Emetu in Newi, Anambra State. So you could see what Julius Abre is trying to do. As a matter of fact, Julius Abre wants to secretly bribe it because he has seen people warned him um, and, and his cohort that they should not hold that convention until a lot of issues are being ratified because the Labour Party, as a matter of fact, is being divided. But Julius Abre went ahead to hold the convention. Now he's going, he's going to use 27 presidential ticket to bribe it to be and, uh, and, and uh, Alex Oti, which is not possible. He has a lot of allegations that have been uh, leveled against him. And instead of him to step aside, he is imposing himself. They are sitting there authoritatively and thinking that he, that it is going to be an easy uh, uh, move for him. Remember, obedience have left the Labour Party. They are no longer in support. A lot of obedience are no longer in support of what the Labour Party is doing. Imagine that the Labour Party had their convention and the obedience were not included in their convention. It was it was the obedience that helped the Labour Party. In fact, it was only the obedience that helped the Labour Party to produce all the principal officers, including Dr. Alex Oti of Anna, of Fabia State. And yet, they excluded the obedient, obedient and thinking that 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 they would be happy. You know, when a, a lot of obedience saw what they did, they started commenting. This person said something that both Obi and Oti were absent from the convention, even though it was held in the southeast of America of Anambra. Says something is cooking. This person says something is cooking because uh, Abu Obi is not in support of that, and that is what the handwriting on the wall says. Why this other person said something? They said we are opposed to the reservation of anything. If Labour Party still exists by then, or if the obedience are still with Labour Party, there must be hundred percent all inclusive convention and primaries. Anyone who wants to contest should join the race and must be elected. And this is the truth. People are saying that the Labour Party must include everybody in its convention.